Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 video. In today's one, we're doing something I actually have been wanting to do for quite a while but just somehow completely forgot, <laughs> is running the Class 166 on the St. Ives branch on the West Cornwall local. As I think realistically these things are now operating on the St. Ives branch. And at some point I do also want to run a HST on here as well, um, which would just be cool to do. Um, anyway, yeah, we're at St. Earth at the moment. We're doing a usual stop in service, so Le Land and then Carbis Bay and then St. Ives. Let's get the train set up. Uh, AWS. Make sure the train lights are on so no one's in the dark. But even though it's daylight, but oh well. Get the door shut and let's get going. So, yeah, it's probably about sort of 15 minutes or so over to uh, St. Ives. Let's go. Let's get that off. But that's one thing which will be quite cool to see in, in future. Obviously, I know the route's only just come out, but some sort of modern day I mean, it's 90, so not long, long, long ago, but you know, like a modern day version, maybe at some point in the future. That'd be cool. But anyway, we, uh, we get going. I think I was up to 30 along it. And maybe you guys have even been on the 166 on the St. Ives branch. So do comment below. Have you been on? Or have you? Who's who here has been on a 166? I can put my hand up. I have on the uh, well opposite side of the country in uh, on the North Downs line. I've been on one. Love the track joint sounds along here. Feels faster in the 166 going at 30 than in the 150. Feels like we're sort of whizzing along here. Cool. Let's just get a screenshot there. So it should be coming up on Leland Salting Station, which is a bit of a weird one. Because you get Leland Saltings, which looks more like a more of a major station than Leland. But you just in service would you just miss out this stop even though it seems like a more important one than Lelant and it's just around the corner to a tiny little Lelant station but yeah this is uh, Lelant Saltings round we go you've got the Hell Estuary I think there which I feel like should have water in it it does look like there would be water there um, but that seems to be missing. Unless it is supposed to be uh, low tide, maybe. But I'm not too sure. They're yeah, coming up on the land. Then Carbis Bay after this, and then St. Ives. I feel like it's probably quicker doing it in the 166 and the 150. Probably will be quicker. And here we are. I suppose we'll go to the end of the platform as there's no stop marker. Yeah, if you are enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe if you do want to see more. It all does help out. Here we are. Obviously one coach longer than the 150, but still fit in all well. Don't have to wait too long. I'm going to get the door shut again. Yeah, it's a bit. Well, it feels a. I don't know. It feels like there should be water there. Although, yeah, it could be representing low tide, or maybe it's just dry anyway. Realistically, one six six two eight. Pretty sure that's Davidoff's class one six six. Cool.
Right, we should be ready to go. Let's uh, get the door shut and let's head towards Carbis Bay, which is in one and a half miles. Anyway, let's go. So yeah, one and a half miles to Carbis Bay. And it's up to 30 miles now. Let's get that off. Cool. Obviously, acceleration is much better on the 166 than the 150. Although, I don't think there is a big difference in time when the 150 got built and the 166. I think the 150s were 1980s. I think the 1980s. And then these ones were... 90s, mid 90s. So there is a fairly vast difference, so in terms of the way they perform and the way they are, and there you go. There's the sea over there. As I say, on this route, it has got Rivet Games' this new sea system. Which hopefully does get implemented onto the Isle of Wight. We were on the Isle of Wight the other day. Um, and I was saying you know, it would be cool if they did implement it onto there as well. As you pretty much go on top of the sea. Obviously when you're on the pier there. So it would be nice to see the same system onto there. I don't know if that would be possible to integrate it onto there. I suppose that would be a whole route update. I mean, could they do that? Could they sort of replace the whole sea with a new sea? Yeah, I'm not sure if that would work. But it would be cool though. Has anyone been to Carbis Bay? Or Lelan? Must be I mean it looks lovely from the game. Um so it must be brilliant in real life. Yeah, it feels much faster in the one six six than going in the one fifty along here. <laughs> much quicker. And now I've run a HST at some point along the uh, along the line as well. Maybe I even do that as a live stream. Then we can do like a full line run in the HST. A bit like what we did on um, Train Simulator. Cool, well, it's not too far to Carbis Bay now. Almost there. And after Carbis Bay, it's just around the corner to St. Ives. But if you're enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up. And uh, do subscribe if you do want to see more. Lovely. But yeah, now I've driven this line on... Um, Line. I was about to say line, line then. Um, now I've driven the line on TSW. It makes you want to go there in real life. Definitely have to uh, try and you know get down to the West Country in future. It's a bit lovely. Let's bring the speed down. Speed, come down, come on. There we go. Right round the corner, and there's Carbis Bay. It's just uh, just under the bridge, and then we'll be there. Yeah, so many nice beaches along here. Here we are. Now approaching Carbis Bay. But yeah, the route does look stunning. And even especially the branch line. Very nice. We'll go to the end of the platform as there is no stop markers at the stops. Which I suppose probably does indicate just go to the end of the platform. Or maybe drivers sort of just memorise where to stop when they know the train's in. Here we are, Carbis Bay. Let's see if we can, uh, let's explore Carbis Bay as you get a bit longer waiting. Can we go up here? Okay, well that, yeah, that rules that out. Got a map here we can collect. See, I haven't got many of the collectibles on um, on the console. That's just when we first got it, we had it on the PC for a little bit. So I've got more of the collectibles on on there. There's the ice cream. So many collectibles on this one station.
what's this? The the, the station with the most collectors. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight collect. Was that eight collectibles at one station? I mean that is. I mean it's it's just one platform, a tiny little platform. Eight. Wow. Okay, that is probably holds. I was at the most collectibles at a small single platform. Still, that's crazy. Right. Anyway, let's get the doors shut. So let's rivet like the collectibles. And they even got one on the beach. Let's go. Let's get a uh, exterior shot. There it goes. Cool. There it goes. Back in the front. Yeah, some awesome, awesome locations. Uh, that what? Awesome and the. What am I saying? There's some awesome locations along the route if you do want to sort of just, you know, watch the trains go by. So in the St. Ives branch, there is, what, one train an hour or so, so you won't get much action. Um, but still some good spots to sort of set up and just, you know, watch the trains go by when they do. And along here, you also get the entrance to the beach. As you do have to walk along the track a little bit. So it's like a little secret entrance. Yeah, it looks, um, looks stunning. Round we go. I think it's uh, the next bridge, yeah, next bridge along, and there's a secret entrance. And it says, like, mine the octopus. Or, like, mine the giant octopus. Yeah, this is the bit here. So you can actually walk through uh, the gap in the fence here. And it's got a little funny, you know, mine the octopus sign or something like that. And you can walk onto the beach, and there's, uh, there's a few collectibles down there. I know it's just cool to sort of sit down there. I wonder if it's also the same thing at Penzance, because there's the massive beach there as well. I wonder if there's a secret entrance. So do comment below if you found any other secret bits on the route you can uh, get to and get some collectibles, because I, I would imagine there probably is more. I mean, this route is full of scenery and full of little cool areas. We are St. Ives. And they always seem to stop around here. They don't actually go up to the buffers, but I'm gonna go up to the buffers anyway, as that's what I'd usually do. Oh about here. There we go. Here we are, we made it. But that is gonna be it everyone, uh, for today's Train Some World 2 video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, obviously you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all, take care, bye guys.